Welcome to Rowan SOM. I'm Dr. Linda Boyd, the Senior Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and a graduate of this school. I'm here to talk to you today about problem-based learning curriculum, usually called PBL. Here at Rowan SOM, you have the option to choose from two different curriculum tracks, the traditional curriculum and the PBL curriculum. Both tracks will enable you to learn what you need to become an excellent physician and to perform well on your board exams. Which one you choose is up to you and how you best like to learn. This year, PBL is being expanded from one group to four groups. Over the next four to five years, we plan to increase to six groups per year. What is PBL? In PBL, you will get a real patient case on day one of medical school. You won't know a whole lot in the early cases. You won't even know the medical terms. But someone in your group might have worked as a scribe, and they know medical terminology and will help the group. You might be doing a case on headache, and one of your group members did a master's in neurosciences and can provide a lot of information to help the group with that case. Collectively, within the group, there is quite a bit of baseline knowledge. But even with that collective wisdom, there will be things about the case that no one knows and no one can figure out. That becomes your learning issue for the session, also known as homework. So you take each learning issue, do your research to not only learn the answer to move the case forward, but you come back and share that with your group during the next session. With the learning issues answered, you can then move forward with the case. Therefore, you learn your foundational sciences and clinical medicine together in the context of a real patient case. And that helps it to stick better. Because you see certain topics over and over within the cases, there will be built-in redundancies that help to reinforce your learning. This kind of longitudinal learning also causes information to stick better. In PBL, the faculty are there to facilitate and to guide your learning, not to teach you content. Content is easily available in texts and even online access to lectures from the traditional curriculum. What does a week look like as a PBL student? You will typically have three group sessions per week, each lasting three hours on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Tuesday morning, you'll have a clinical skills lab, and on Thursday morning, you will have OMM lab most weeks, each lasting one to two hours. At the end of each module, you will have a study week before your module exam. What are the advantages of PBL? There is less scheduled time and seat, so there is a little more flexibility in your weekly schedule. But the real advantage is learning in context of patient cases and learning to learn, not just to memorize for a test. You also build close working relationships with your PBL peers and with faculty because of the small numbers. PBL is a pass-fail curriculum. Many students find this less stressful than the traditional curriculum's honors, high pass, and pass grading scheme. What are the outcomes for PBL students? Studies done at medical schools around the country show that PBL students do as well or better academically than the traditional curriculum students. Our PBL outcomes are the same. Some of our highest board scores of this year's graduates are PBL students. It's all about what you put into your learning and that is true for both curricular tracks. Studies have also shown that PBL students have an advantage over traditional students when they start their clinical rotations. They know how to figure out patient problems because they've been doing it for their first two years. Most traditional students catch up after several months, but the early advantage goes to PBL students. Who should choose PBL? If you are someone who is self-directed and self-disciplined and know that you can structure yourself to study every day, then PBL can be a good option. If you really like to understand the why of things and enjoy learning for learning, and not just for the grades, then PBL might be good for you. Engineering students in particular often struggle and get frustrated with the traditional curriculum and its emphasis on memorization. They are trained to solve problems in engineering school, and PBL is especially well suited for those students. Who should not choose PBL? You need to know your own learning style. 
If you are primarily an auditory learner and you can easily assimilate information that you hear in lecture and remember it, then perhaps the traditional curriculum is best for you. If you need the structure of having a test every couple of weeks to keep you motivated to study, then traditional might be better. If you are someone who tends to procrastinate to the last minute and then cram, well, you need to change for both curricula because cramming doesn't work in medical school. But if you are a big procrastinator, then perhaps PBL is not for you. What do I think of PBL? I've been in academic medicine my entire career and have worked at three different medical schools. Most of my career, I've been facilitating PBL. I love PBL because it's so exciting to see students' knowledge grow and to see how they can push and stretch themselves during a PBL session and realize that they actually know or can figure out more than they thought. And that is what medicine is all about anyway, problem solving. What is different about PBL at Rowan SOM? Some of you may be accepted at other schools' PBL programs. Here's what is different with PBL at Rowan SOM. First of all, we have been doing it for 15 years, so we have a long track record of success with the program. Our new expansion has allowed us to enhance the PBL program even further. For example, we will be integrating clinical skills training into the PBL program so that you will learn clinical skills in the context of the case you are doing. So if you're doing a case on chest pain, you might learn how to take a history appropriate for that complaint in the first year and how to do a heart exam in the second year. Starting in August, we will be the only osteopathic school in the country to integrate OMM into PBL. You will have two OMM faculty dedicated to PBL for your labs with a one to five faculty student ratio, which is unheard of. You will learn all the same things the students learn in the traditional OMM course, but the order might be different and again, presented in context of the patient case you are doing. We have hired a dedicated basic science and clinical faculty that will stay with each group for an entire module or system. After each module, the groups will be mixed and you will change faculty. The advantage of changing groups each module is you get to develop team building skills that will come in handy during clinical rotations and throughout your career. Your faculty will get to know you well over the weeks of a module and be able to give you valuable feedback about your study habits, presentations, group interactions, and overall progress, all intended to help you to become the best doctor you can be. We have acquired a beautiful new facility for the expansion of PBL across the street from campus and housed with the new admissions office. Each PBL group will have their own dedicated, nicely decorated, newly furnished room with state-of-the-art technology, natural light, and plenty of whiteboards. Parking is adjacent to the building and you'll have 24-hour card swipe secure access. Texts, OMM tables, and skeletons are available to each group. There is also a kitchen in the building for breaks and storing your meals, and the building is fully handicapped accessible. You can, of course, also utilize our campus library and any study space on campus available to traditional students. I am really excited about our expanded and enhanced PBL program, and I hope you will consider it. You will receive information about the PBL application soon, but don't take my word for it. Listen to what our current and previous PBL students have to say about their experience. Now what problem-based learning means to me is it gives me a chance to be the captain of my own education. Um, what that means is I get to decide how deep I want to go into a subject and how much I think a subject may or may not be relevant towards A, my boards later, and my future clinical practice. I think that's important in a sense because I'm going to be responsible for my own future, so I might as well start now. How can people expect me to be a leader if I'm not able to lead myself? So for me, it gives me that opportunity to explore and to grow and to build upon what I know. To me, is awesome. I'm, I am so happy I'm doing PBL because I get to be, like I said, again, I get to be a doctor on the very first day. I'm a medical student, I understand that, but how cool that I get to actually diagnose a patient on the very, very first day. I get to work as a team, so um, 
you know, seven to eight people in a group. So we learn a lot from each other. We're working with each other. And as you guys know, it's very, very important to work as a team because even in the hospital, even real world, you go out there, you have to work as a team. So not only is teaching you to work as a team together, you also get to diagnose the patient together. You get to figure out. So it's exactly like how the fact that it's not going to be always lupus all the time. We actually get actual, you know, cases. You, you want to be motivated, and, but you know what, that's the same for any program. In, in medical school, you're going to have to be very motivated. You're going to have to do the majority of studying on your own. Why PBL? I think it gives them a chance to keep it clinically focused. It gives them a chance to keep their learning centered instead of just class to class. It gives, keeps them centered on the bigger picture. Another reason is if they like to be part of a team. Uh, you are, you do, a lot of us students are interdependent on each other and we help each other out. We, like I said, we do do a lot of studying on our own, but we do rely on each other and we, we learn a lot from each other. Background shouldn't be a barrier to PBL because it, we have students from all different backgrounds in this program and they're all thriving. Beca and it's the fact that they have differences that they're able to add more to, to the group. They, they come with different experiences, each one, and they add something different that some of us never thought about before. And I really appreciate that. We are learning from the very day one because we pick what we want to learn. We pick the textbook, you know, we, and you have so much information. And besides that, we actually get all the information that the traditional program people get because we get all these echoes, you know, all the lectures that other students have, but we don't have to go. Uh, we can focus more on the boards. And at the same time, you, you will feel like you're a doctor because not only you're working on the case, you're actually supplementing the information that you're learning with the case. So we have to figure out, say for example, a patient come in, she has a multiple sclerosis, right? We don't know that because, you know, it's a neurological disease, so she has a lot of similar symptoms. So you are covering 10, 15 diseases, and I can assure you when you are taking the actual exam, you are not thinking this like, oh my God, I need to pass it. You are thinking like, okay, this is a patient, how am I gonna save it? So. You guys are extremely fortunate that if you get an opportunity, do it because the PBL program in Rowan University is very, very different. Um, I know a lot of you might have already heard about PBL program in other university, but PBL in here is very, very different because you know we have pass-fail system, first of all, so you're not stressing out. Uh, about, oh my God, my grades, my grades, my grades. No, you're gonna be stressing out. Am I really learning? Am I gonna be a great doctor? Am I gonna nail my boards? For me, I feel that I'm able to be more confident going into the future of my education. I'm not so worried about the next exam, the next week. I'm looking big picture, and I think PBL gives you the time to do that, to enjoy the learning process, to soak it all in, to decide what's relevant. I'm not a traditional student. That means I'm older than a lot of you guys are, so I have had a lot of bad jobs. So having a lot of bad jobs being in this situation let me know that I am really, really lucky because I am learning what I love and I know you guys are going to love it if you have PBL. I have known um, students uh, from you know, other programs come up to us and said to us, oh, we wish we have done PBL. So just, just, you know, just to let you guys know. Okay, so let me tell you a schedule really quick. So um, we meet three times a week. PBL is not a free ride. You know, PBL, uh, PBL is not an easy out, easy way out. I study as hard as anybody else, but I study and but I'm enjoying it. I'm not stressing out. I'm having a lot of fun, and we need students who are motivated and going to contribute to the group, because your group depends on you. You are a teacher. You are our teachers. A day in the life of a PBL student varies just like I think it does with every medical student, but the vast majority of our time is self-studying. We're doing, like I said, we're very motivated, so we're doing a lot of studying on our own. Now, when we're in class, that's where it comes, that's where it starts to become different. When we're in class, we are working on our patients that's we're learning from them we're learning you know what questions are appropriate to ask what questions are going to help us figure out our diagnosis and were our diagnoses right or were they wrong that's that's our one part of our day in class another part is researching what we didn't know from previous classes and we and we have to research that and present it to each other you know in a following class session 
I look forward to meeting each of you in August during the White Coat Ceremony. If you have any questions about PBL before that, please feel free to email me at boyd, B-O-Y-D, at rowan.edu.